Hello, welcome to the talk. Uh, in the next couple of sessions, we're going to continue to learn Terraform. Um, more specifically, we're going to demo how do we deploy Elk stack on AWS, which is, you know, Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana via Terraform. Follow the process that we went through in the last series for deploying Kubernetes cluster via Terraform. Uh, the first part, we're going to test out how do we deploy and configure Elk stack components manually, and then we move, move forward to figure out how do we automate this process. Um, all right, that's the plan. Sounds good. Uh, firstly, for those who are not yet familiar with Elk, um, Elk is one of the most popular open source enterprise logging and data analysis solutions in the market, which is primarily composed of three independent tools. There are Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana. Elasticsearch is a search and analytics engine, which is kind of like Google, all right? And Logstash is the service that data processing pipeline that ingests data from multiple sources simultaneously, transform the data, and then send it to Elasticsearch. So, uh, you can say uh, Logstash is like an input of Elasticsearch. And last but not least, Kibana, uh, which is the presentation layer, it lets users visualize data with graphs and charts in Elasticsearch. I guess you can say Elasticsearch is the central piece of Elk stack. It offers multi-node scalable distributed search and analytics engine so in a, in a typical Elasticsearch cluster framework, there are three types of nodes. Master node, which is a lightweight node. It's responsible for the cluster management. It basically ensures the cluster is stable, all right? And data nodes. Data nodes are responsible for storing actual data. They participate in indexing processes. And client node. Client node act like a um, load balancer for processing requests. It neither stores data nor participates in cluster management. All it does is to relieve data nodes to do heavy duty uh, jobs like searching. Logstash uh, generally uh, is where Elasticsearch gets data from, right? It handles data of all kinds and sizes. It ingests data, enrich the data, and transform it. Uh, one of the cool things about Logstash is that it has extensible plugin ecosystem. Uh, it has pluggable pipeline architecture, which basically means for most of the cases, we can easily configure and integrate with the sources and the destinations where we collect data from and send data to. All right. Kibana, um, that's where aggregation happens. We can visualize data as the way we want. We, cr we can create dashboard out of it, or more advanced, we can apply machine learning to the data set based on our uh, scenarios. All right, uh, by the way, a quick note, AWS provides elective search as a service and recently, uh, AWS rebranded it as Open Search. Uh, so don't get confused with Elk uh, we're talking about right here. Uh, there are different things, but from a uh, functionality point of view, uh, they are basically the same because Open Search is derived from Elasticsearch 7.10. Um, you can, I guess, you can just consider Open Search as the Amazon's own version of Elk. All right. Cool. Uh, demo time. Um, mm, Elasticsearch is a big topic uh, to discuss about. Uh, I guess you can, if you want to learn more detail about Elasticsearch, you can uh, uh, browse on YouTube. There are a lot of good tutorial sessions. To uh, start with something simple and focus on the topic of uh, deployment automation via Terraform for uh, this video. So the first demo, uh, let's just uh, spin up an EC2 instance quickly uh, and install and configure Elk stacks on top of it manually. 
And then, as planned, we figure out how do we automate this process via Terraform. And going forward, after that, we can add more cool stuff like AWS Route 53 to uh, you know make our implementation more close to the production operation scenario. All right, sounds good. Um, by the way, before I jump to the demo, uh, remember to uh, thumb up and subscribe my channel. And of course, most importantly, leave comments if you have any questions. All right, cool. Um, let me jump to my terminal. All right, um, follow or plan. Um, I'm going to spin up an EC2 instance real quick uh, via this shared Terraform AWS module. And, and, and then once the EC2 instance is up and running, I'm going to first manually uh, install uh, L components like Lactic Search, Log Slash, and Kibana on top of these EC2 instance, basically to you know get familiarized the procedure. Uh, before we can figure out how to automate this whole process via Terraform, right? Cool. Um, uh, here we go. This is the um, uh, repository of this Terraform uh, module uh, for EC2 instance. Uh, I'm gonna just copy the sample configuration right here for spin up a single EC2 in instance, which is exactly what I'm trying to do here. And, and um, I'm going to share this link in the description of this video, so feel free to check it out. All right. Um, again, uh, I'm going to uh, deploy this EC2 instance uh, in the US EC2 region. Um, here we go. That's, let me copy this, whole, uh, this example and move back to my editor, Visual Studio Code. Uh, here, I already created the framework for this demo. Firstly, you can see I just uh, uh, called that module, uh, which is EC2 underscore instance. And I gave the, an, the name of this instance as ZZTalk demo. And I'm going to use Ubuntu. Uh, so this is the AMI stream uh, for the latest version of Ubuntu in that US East 2 region. So you can uh, get this AMI stream from AWS console or from uh, AWS CLI, either way. Uh, so uh, I'll show you from console uh, here. So just go to uh, EC2 in instance under this region, US East 2, right? And click launch instance and uh, pick the OS you want to install. Um, here, here we go, the Ubuntu uh, MI. This is where I get the MI string from, right? Or you can run, uh, get this string from uh, AWS CLI. Either way, that's even faster. Um, so move forward, instance type. Uh, remember, normally when I did, uh, when I do a uh, demo, so I just use the small um, uh, instance uh, for demo purpose, uh, normally the default is, uh, you, you know, T2 macro, right? But for this specific demo, because the components I'm going to install, like log stash, uh, elective search, uh, they're really uh, resource consuming. Um, and there, there are some um, re uh, like system requirements. T2 micro is going to be too small to host all those three uh, is, uh, components. So that's why I I chose a bigger one uh, and for large uh, here, right? And move forward key name. Uh, that's basically the resource I defined right below uh, this module because uh, I'm gonna need we're gonna need the um, uh, SSH public key uh, so that we are able to uh, get access or a login uh, as a login that uh, is to instance. Uh, once it's um, up and running. Here we go. And as you can see, uh, I create uh, a variable in the variable uh, the TF, basically to uh, define the location of my uh, public key. So that's why you can see here I was uh, calling that variable right here. Right. Uh, move forward. Uh, uh, besides the uh, public key, I'm going to 
also uh, need to define the uh, security group basically i need to configure the ingress to make sure those ports for electric search kibana and logstash are open okay so that's exactly what i'm doing right here uh, resource aws security group and uh, i'll give the variable as allow elk and i uh, make sure i configure the ingress to make sure uh the um, by the way i'm using all, all, all comp for all components i'm just use the default ports so like for the elective search and make sure the for ingress the 9200 port is open and for kibana the 5601 port is open and for logstash uh the port uh, 50, 0, uh, 5043 and 5044 ports are open for Logstash. Basically, uh, 5043 uh, is for income and 5044 50, is for outgoing, for sending the um, data from Logstash to like uh, Elective Search. Right? And, uh, uh, and also, because I need to get access to these, um, uh, EC2 instance, log on to this EC2 instance. I need to make sure the port 22 for um, uh, SSH um, is open. All right. For uh, egress, I just make sure so I can, uh, is, is able traffic is able to uh, send out to everywhere. So I may just make sure thing as 0, 0, uh, minus 1 is support all protocols and uh, all IPs. All right. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, provider, same thing. So, um, is a AWS uh, provider. You need to uh, he, again. I put my pr uh, account information in the variable, and I'm calling these variables like access key, secret key, and default region, something like that. All right. Um, that's pretty straightforward. Easy, uh, easy, right? So let's uh, let me spin up the uh, EC2 uh, instance real quick. Cool. So here we go. I'm in the right directory, and let me just issue Terraform in it. Cool. And then Terraform plan to just make sure there's no Senex error before we kick off the Terraform apply. All right, looks good. As you can see, there will be three uh, resources um, being added. Um, all right, looks good. And let's uh, just kick off by issuing Terraform apply. Um, yes. This should be really quick because all it does just need to uh, spin up an EC2 in instance and create those security groups, basically. <laughs> all right, let's verify by log on to AWS console and go to EC2 instance. And here we go. Uh, you see that EC2, EC2 instance is up and running. The name is Easy Talk Demo, right? And the type is M4 large. And let's check it out here. Okay, so let's, next step, we're gonna log on to this instance and then install the L components on top of it, right? So let me open a terminal here let me grab the uh, public IP and issue SSH uh, IP dash the default user for Ubuntu is Ubuntu and the private key I need to install the private key uh, include the private, which, uh, sorry, let me 
do a yeah, that's all right so ssh ip dash l ubuntu the private key here we go hit enter yes all right cool so i just log in uh these uh is two instance successfully and let me do it sudo su to get root access here we go okay so everything looks good the terraform uh, module worked and uh the next step we're gonna install elk component uh in on top of these is two instance all right all right let's start with elected search um before I install the elected search, there are some uh, preps to take care. So firstly, let me issue a uh, apt get uh, update and apt get upgrade to make sure the package match get updated to the latest. Uh, it's probably gonna take a little bit of time. Let's wait for it so basically once it's done another prerequisite is uh, we, we need to install uh java jre on top of this ec2 instance because um elected search uh uh log stash they're gonna require um uh, jre right um so once the jre installed we're ready to um uh, install the uh, elk stack so while we're waiting let's let me uh, jump to the uh, official uh, documentation for uh, install like the search with Debian package. Uh, basically, that's for uh, Ubuntu. And the procedure is pretty uh, straightforward and is pretty easy. All we need to do, we need to firstly import the uh, like the search PGP key, and then we're gonna um, uh, save the repository definition. Uh, uh, for the package manager, then we're going to install uh, like the search via the package manager. All right. Okay. So let me grab these commands for importing the key. So switch back. Um, okay. The upgrade is still running. Let's uh, give it a minute or so. It should be done quick. Right. It's done. Cool. So let's issue that command to import the key right oh uh one more thing so again before we install uh elected search we need to install the gre right so i almost forgot so let's run apt get install default gre hyphen y as yes right so hit enter All right, so we're installing OpenJDK version 11. Looks good. So, cool, it's done. So let's verify by Java version. Looks good, OpenJDK version 11. Cool. So now we can uh, continue uh, to install uh, elected search. So I finish up uh, importing the key, then I will install uh, transport HTTP, then I'm gonna save the repository definition right here. And last but not least, let's kick it off here install like the search right what we're reading so next step once it like the search is done the next step we're going to move forward to install the other two um, components of elk stack which is uh log stash and kibana so i'm gonna the, the second one i'm gonna install uh log stash and then kibana so let me run um, apt get install 
logs dash. Mm. All right. Uh, here, um, sorry, I maybe I moved too fast here. So the um, elected search uh, was installed successfully, but there's some command we need to uh, issue to uh, uh, like here, the the one that highlighted is not uh, not starting on installation. So so we need to execute these statements to configure elected search service. To start automatically using the systemd command, right? That's what we're gonna do. So here, let's issue uh, reload the daemon, and then enable the Elasticsearch service, and then we're good to start uh, Elasticsearch by the system cuddle command right here. And as you can see, the uh, log stash was also uh, installed successfully uh, right here. Right? So, same thing, we're gonna uh, start log stash as service, but uh, let's wait for the lattice search. Um, up and running so let's issue system cuddle status elastic search that service don't worry I will I will I will share the uh, step uh, the, the command for each step in the uh, description uh, so for, feel free to check it out if you missed uh, or I did it like too fast here in the session you can you can check it out in the description to review those commands all right so here uh back here that the status looks good it's showing active it's running for elected search uh we can uh do a curl to verify as well so curl http local host and 9200 here we go the elected search is right up and running Right, so elected search is done, lock stash uh, is done, uh, and last but not last, let's install Kibana. All right, so Kibana is installed successfully as well. So let's verify. By the way, before we start Kibana, there is the configuration file we need to modify. So let's go to at the Kibana, uh, Kibana.xml. Or yeah, oh, YAML file. Sorry, hit enter. So basically, this there's a couple of um, configuration we need to uh, comment out. That, like the first one, this guy, we need to, to allow connections from remote users. Set this parameter to a non uh, loopback address. So instead of here, firstly I comment it out, and instead of localhost for demo, I'm gonna allow connection from anywhere so basically i will put 0 0.0.0.0, 0 .0, all right and next is the 
the URLs of the elected search instances to use for your query. So here, because for this demo, I, I didn't spin up a elected search cluster, it's only just one host, right, for elected search, which is running in the same IS2 instance. So all I need to do is just put the uh, enable, uh, a comment out uh, this line, and here is already there, the local host 9200. If you're spinning up a elected search cluster, you can um, uh, add the host to this list. See here, this is the this is a list right here. All right, so that's pretty much it. So save it and exit out. And now you're good to start the Kibana service. Uh, I'll do a uh, service start Kibana. All right, so let's do service Kibana status. All right, looks good. Uh, active running. So to verify if we can get access Kibana interface, let me grab the public IP and copy to my browser. And I'm going to use port 50 was the port for Kibana. Uh, that's 5601, right? So go back to my browser 5601. All right, looks good. Uh, it's loading and here we go. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is the interface to uh, 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 to Kibana. So let me click explore on my own. Uh, here we go. Looks good. Um, going forward, so uh, so far I've already installed all three um, ma uh, major components for Elk Stack, uh, Logstash. Like Surge and Kibana, right? So for testing purpose, let's uh, get some data and feed it and feed to Elected Surge. Um, for doing that, um, I'm gonna need another component, uh, which is called Metric Beat. Uh, here we go. Uh, what is Metric Beat? Metric Beat basically is a lightweight shipper that uh, you can install on your servers to periodically. Uh, uh, collect uh, metrics from the operating system uh, or uh, from services running on the server, right? And, and then metric B takes the metrics and statistics that it collects and ships them to the outputs that you, def you, you specify. That could be locks dash or that could be uh, uh, elected search directly, uh, either way, right? All right. So regarding installation, uh, it's just same thing. You can quickly install Metric Beat via Package Manager. All right. So once the um, uh, Metric Beat is installed, next step, and I'm gonna quickly uh, walk you through how do we quickly um, configure index uh, on uh, Elective Search and how do we create index patterns um, on uh, Kibana so that Kibana can quick uh, can retrieve the data from elected search, right? So let me uh, sh start with metric beat. So jump to the uh, Kibana interface, all right? And click this hamburger button and scroll all the way down to the bottom. Under management, click uh, stack management. And then click index management, enter data. As you can see, currently there's no index being created just yet because neither logs dash nor the um, uh, metric beats that we just installed uh, are up and running uh, up and running yet. So let's check the status. Um, service metric beat status, as you can see, is still shown inactive. So once I uh, bring up this service, so we should be able to see a index being created automatically uh, for metric beats. So check it out. Service metric beats start. All right, so let's check the status one more time. And okay, you can see the metric beat service is running and it's running active. 
So we're good right here. So back to the um, console and let's refresh. We should be able to see an index being created already. Here we go. You can see this index is for metric beats and you can see already there are uh, logs being fed to elective search. 36 uh, dogs count, right? And now let me show you how do we create a index pattern on Kibana so that it's able to retrieve the data from elective search to show the logs. Um, so click the discovery under analytics and here that's where we create index pattern right so click create index pattern and here we go we're gonna select the index that was created just now put it here and select a time stamp field i will choose this guy and create index pattern that's it. So now we should be able to see logs reporting by click the discover again. And here we go. You can see the logs are, uh, are reporting to Kibana. All right, so that's pretty much it. All right, so next, let me show you how do we configure uh, logs dash. And back to my console and as you can see, the log stash service is still showing inactive, right? So before I bring up the log stash service, I have to do some configuration. Like remember uh, back to my demo part, the, we have to configure like the, there are three sections, inputs, filter, outputs. We have to configure to instruct log that where uh, it should grab the uh, logs from and how do we um, like filter or or uh, process the data, and then where do we want to uh, send the um, the filtered data to? Uh, in this case, it's going to be like the search, right? So for doing that, we're going to create a configuration file. So let me go to Etsy uh, log stash folder uh, log stash and uh, let's create uh, enter comp D. Let's create a configuration. Let's say, um, just assume we, on this server, there's Apache um, logs we wanna uh, feed to like the search, right? I'll call it for uh, uh, collecting Apache logs. I'll call it apache.conf, all right? And then inside this, we have to put our configuration. That's three sections. Uh, uh here let me grab over here all right input filter outputs so here for inputs that we define where we're gonna uh collect the logs from in this case i just give a uh um a hypothetical pass at the log location so that's where we're gonna uh, script the data from right and next step is filter so this is where uh, we want uh, log stash to process the uh, log, uh, like basic re reformat as the way we want. And then we want to configure the output to send the filter data or clean format data to elective search. And this is the uh, elective search location, right? Sorry. Oh, uh, let me copy that again, sorry. Hmm. Let me copy that whole thing again, right here. All right, and save it. Now we're good to uh, bring up log stash. So service log stash start. All right, let's check the status. Log stash status. Here we go. The service is running and showing active. Now, let me go back to the uh, index management. We should be able to see another index being created. Uh, index management. Refresh.
yeah, here we go. There, sorry, there was some delay, but um, that's the log stash index, right? But because I just put in a hypothetical uh, uh, log location of logs, there is no actual Apache service running, so there is no uh, logs being fed to like this search yet. But basically, I just want to show you how do we configure a uh, log stash to um, uh, collect the uh, collect logs, right? Cool. That's uh pretty much what I want to show you uh, for this session. Uh, I guess we already get familiarized the procedure on how do we uh, install each um, uh, component, right? And next session, uh, we're going to continue um, figure out how do we automate this whole process with Terraform. All right, sounds good. Um, I'll see you uh, next week. All right. Thank you for watching my video. If you think this video is helpful, you're more than welcome to leave any comments. Remember, sum up, subscribe my video, and also hit the notification bell. See you next time.